UFC 268 headlined one of the most highly anticipated championship fight rematches in recent memory. The stakes couldn't be higher for Colby Chaos Covington, who is trying once again to win the welterweight title against his nemesis, Kamaru the Nigerian Nightmare Usman. Their first matchup back at UFC 245 in 2019 is considered one of the greatest welterweight championship fights in the promotion's history. Needless to say, expectations for this card were sky high. The main event did not disappoint. The two best welterweights put on a back-and-forth show for the raucous Madison Square Garden crowd in New York City. The early rounds heavily favored the incumbent champion, as Usman clocked Covington with a powerful shot in the second round that looked like it was going to end the fight. However, Covington wasn't going to go down like that. He shot in on a takedown and did everything he could to survive, just barely making it out conscious. Fans watching around the world were convinced that Usman was destined to repeat his performance of their first fight, where he won by TKO in the fifth round. The first half of the third round tilted towards Usman again. But something clicked inside Covington's controversial head. He knew he had to get more active and try to make something happen. Finding an inspired second win, Colby pushed the pace, finding openings that he was too hesitant to enter before. The one-sided affair suddenly looked much more competitive, and the remaining rounds were a spectacle any fight fan would love. Covington left it all on the table, looking for that big shot but never found it. Ultimately, Usman proved too damned good, retaining his belt for his fifth title defense. Perhaps the most surprising moment of the fight came after the bout ended, when the two rivals embraced in a moment of respect. Apparently, Colby broke character in that moment, and the mutual respect between the two men was on full display. Considering all the trash talk and animosity in the build-up for this rematch, it was genuinely surprising. Go 25 minutes. So much so that referee Dan Mergliata actually intervened and told the two that they could go kiss later. Go kiss later. Go back to the corner. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, you like to see Dan Mergliata breaking up the love. Look, yeah, you got uncomfortable. See that? As much as the heat has served to build this rivalry, nice to see that. When asked about what Colby said to him in that moment in the post-fight press conference, Usman declined to share stating that he'd rather keep it between them. However, he stated that he respected Colby as a fighter, even if he doesn't like his antics outside the octagon, citing the fact that the two have now fought for nearly an hour's worth of engagement. Yeah. Can you share what the words were that you guys had with each other after the fight? It looked like he maybe actually let the character go for a second and, and had some, tr some tr true words with you? No, it's just, uh, you know, just two competitors. Two competitors, we went to war, we spent almost an hour together inside that cage. And so, you know, we, we um, you know, I'll leave that between me and him. Disappointment that you didn't get the finish. I mean, obviously you, you always want to do that, right? But you still got the belt, you got another win. I mean, but is there any disappointment at all that you weren't able to finish? No, absolutely, no disappointment. You know, this guy's tough as nails. It's very, very tough. Like, let's be honest, you know, Ali needed a Frazier. You know, all these guys, you, you, you know, you can be the great ones, but there's always going to be that one guy that's going to be able to push you. And, and he is that guy, you know, as, as much of him outside of the octagon as, you know, most people don't like, myself included. You know, you have to respect him as a competitor. When asked if he was open to the idea of a trilogy, Usman said he was game if Covington did what was necessary to get back in the title contention. Do you think you're done with him for good? Do you think that's the last time you see him in the cage? Or do you think that your paths will cross somewhere down the line? I don't know, man. That guy's tough. You know, I think he'll, he'll, he'll tune up a lot of guys in this division. So, you know, we'll see. It's up to him. You know, if, he, if he's willing to do the work and get back up here. And, you know, if I'm still here, then we'll make it happen. He likened their rivalry to the one between Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier, saying that Colby is tough as hell and pushed him to new heights. That might seem like very high praise to give himself, but the highest praise for Usman came from UFC President Dana White. During the post-fight press conference, White unabashedly stated that Kamaru Usman is the best welterweight of all time. He is on his way to possible GOAT status. 
let's uh, get your thoughts on the main event. Obviously, it looked like it was going to be over early, and then Kobe Covington battles back and makes it a close fight. I mean, uh, what, what was your thought on that? If Usman doesn't exist, Kobe Covington is the champion here, you know? Usman is just, this, this guy's the best ever. He, he's the best welterweight of all time. Uh, he is uh, is on his way to possible GOAT status. And Colby Covington is one tough dude. I mean, he is so tough. It was a sentiment that was expressed by others in the MMA community. Feather Nigerian-American UFC featherweight Sadiq Youssef took to Twitter after the fight to say that Usman just passed GSP. Current heavyweight champion and African MMA star Francis Ngannou was also happy to see Usman retain his belt, tweeting out, and still, after the fight. Another man in GOAT contention, John Bones Jones, gave his congratulations to Usman, saying, Great work tonight, champ. Kenny Florian summed up the bout as an awesome main event between two tough SOBs. Usman is one hell of a champion, and Colby was right there with him. After the fourth, Florian tweeted, Well, things just got more dramatic. Colby wins round four. If round two wasn't a 10-8 for Usman, we most likely have an even championship fight that again comes down to round five. UFC flyweight prospect tweeted out during the fight that Usman is all over him this time, but changed her tune mid-fight after Colby started to turn things around, saying, Wow, I stand corrected. Another instant classic. Can't deny Colby's heart. Current bantamweight paper champ and Oscar-winning actor Al Jermaine Sterling gave congratulations after the bout, saying, Great fight, men. Much respect to both of you. But perhaps the most succinct conclusion after the bout came from women's featherweight contender Megan Anderson, who asked, What does it take to beat Kamaru Usman right now? One of the best to do it and can't see anyone beating him anytime soon. Usman now needs one more victory to tie Anderson Silva's UFC record for consecutive victories, an achievement many believe would never be replicated. While many disagree with Dana White's praise of calling him the greatest welterweight over George's St. Pierre, there's no denying that Kamaru Usman is a special talent. By the time all is said and done, he truly may be the greatest mixed martial artist of all time. What did you guys think of the fight? How do you have it scored going into the fifth round? Do you agree or disagree with the idea that Usman is already the greatest welterweight in the history of the USC? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe for future MMA content. Thanks for watching.